It was my mother's birthday, a day that can't be beat. We had a chocolate cake. The frosting that was sweet. My mother frowned a frown, a serious reaction. I can't eat an entire slice, I only want a fraction. She felt really full, she'd eaten so much stuff. One half plus one quarter would really be enough. She said one half plus one quarter would really be enough. Now I had to add some fractions, I was caught off guard. I'd never added fractions, it was really hard. Should I make a list? Maybe. Could I use a graph? Could be. I needed help to add one quarter to one half. I needed help to add one quarter to one half. Adding fractions, there's a catch. You gotta make the denominators, denominators? match. Matching your fractions like thirds with thirds. You can't add elephants to blue birds. No quarters with quarters and halves with halves. Fifths with fifths. Denominators match. I added straight across. I think I got it right. I'm right. Two six is what I got. My brother said not quite. No, 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 no. That's not the way adding fractions gotta go. We need a common denominator. about it hard. hard and then I had to say one half is two quarters that will work okay okay two quarters and one more that just equals three, three. denominators match adding is easy I quickly gave my mother three quarters of a slice she thanked me 20 times said I cut it really nice I'm feeling smart and proud emotional reactions and then I told my mom I was only adding facts I was saved by a common denominator Yes, halves and quarters are different things. Different. You can't add french fries to onion rings. Yummy. Adding straight across, things will turn out bad. Match denominators before you add. Match denominators before you add. When adding one half of a slice of cake with one quarter of a slice, I needed to find a common denominator. I know I can replace the one half with two fourths because they're equivalent fractions. Now, all my fractions are in fourths and have a common denominator of four. This lets me add them easily. Two fourths plus one fourth must be three fourths, just like two apples plus one apple is three apples. You can see how common denominators help us when adding fractions. You can never add a skateboard to a train. They're really very different. They're surely not the same. Oranges and apples are truly different things. Don't ever add your french fries to your onion rings. You can never add your french fries to your onion rings. But you can always find the sum of chocolate chips and always find the total of a group of groovy grapes. You can add those things that make a perfect match. And when you're adding fractions, that's the little catch. When you're adding fractions, denominators match. Adding fractions, there's a catch. You gotta make the denominators match. Matching your fractions like thirds with thirds. You can't add elephants to blue birds. Quarters with quarters and halves with halves. Fifths with fifths. Denominators match. So never forget this rule. We need a common denominator. Common denominator.